Hello and welcome to episode 24 of Battlefield 4 News and this episode has one subject and that is Mantle. The 14.1 Catalyst drivers have finally been released in beta and it turns out these will support the HD7000 and HD8000 series GPUs as well as the R9s and R7s and that means we can do a comparison between Mantle and DirectX. So this is the first version of Mantle and the version of DirectX that I'm running is DirectX 3D 11.1. So here's AMD's page for downloading the 14.1 Catalyst drivers and that includes the Mantle support. And it's simply a matter of installing those over the top of the original drivers which I think were 13.12. Now there is a problem in that Fraps doesn't work when you're running Mantle. Mantle disables DirectX it would appear. So I'm having to record these in a different way and the quality is 720p rather than 1080p. So DirectX 11 has been around for a while and we're on 11.1. It's produced by Microsoft and let's have a look at it. So you can see my computer's stats for CPU and GPU in the top left and you can see the frame rate in the top right. So in case you can't read what it's saying in the top left hand corner, it's saying rendering backend is Direct3D 11.1, GPUs is 1, resolution 1920 by 1080, internal 1920 by 1080, at zero hertz, don't know what that means. VSync off AMD Radeon HD7900 series, it's a HD7970. CPU cores 8, job threads 4, Intel Core i7 3820 CPU at 3.6 gigahertz. So that's basically what my machine is and what's running this clip. Now the video and sound are going to be worse than usual. I usually record in 1080p on Fraps, but instead I'm having to record at 720p and that's because I'm using XSplit instead. So when you look at the frame rates I'm getting, bear in mind I have got the video recording software running at the same time. Now Gwilin Peaks is a bit of a slow map. Uh, without the recording software I'm usually bouncing around 100, 120, sometimes down to as low as 90 on these maps. And you can see with the recording software it's still pretty consistently around 90. But what I'm going to do is let this clip run for about five minutes so you can watch how the frame rate responds to various things and me going around the map and getting involved in the action. So I will come back once you've watched this clip. Sniper, 
Right, so that's enough of my bad gameplay. Now, if you want to change over between DirectX and Mantle, you have to do it in game, but you then have to quit to leave and then rejoin. So, Gwiling Peaks is quite a tough map, I imagine, for the GPUs because it's got a lot of dark and light and shade effects, and fire, and that kind of stuff. And DirectX averaged around the late 80s, early 90s in terms of frame rate. Its low was 77 FPS and its high was 120 FPS. That's discounting the depth scenes and spawn screens. So let's take a look at Mantle. And Mantle's already caused me a couple of issues. There's the fact that it kind of disables DirectX for anything else that's running at the same time and it has an issues where it's crashed a couple of times or made battlefield crash and then next time it's gone in fine so we're back on Guilin Peaks it's exactly the same map in fact it's exactly the same game playing on the same side against the same people so everything should be identical I think this server's got a ping of 13 so there shouldn't be any server issues so this is about as close to identical conditions as I think it's possible to get in Battlefield multiplayer. The information we have in the top left is pretty much the same, except this time it says rendering backend mantle. And strangely the resolution has changed to 1918 by 1078 instead of 1920 by 1080. So I don't know what causes that, but it has changed a tiny bit for no apparent reason and it still says the internal resolution is the same as well so I would have assumed one of those is the native PC resolution and one would be the game resolution but unless Mantle has changed my native 
PC resolution. I can't see what that is. I will have to look it up later. So everything is as close as possible as I can get it between this clip and the first one. I'm recording in the same way. I haven't stopped the recording software. It's recorded all the way through. I'll let you watch the rest of the footage. It's about another five minutes and then you can see the frame rates and make a comparison. And I'll come back to you at the end.
So the gameplay was a bit better under Mantle, but that's mainly because I forgot to keep checking the top right hand corner to see what the frame rates were, which I did a lot during the DirectX gameplay. But the gameplay is not important, let's have a look at the FPS. So, for Mantle we had a low of 92 to a high of 152, and we had an average of around 120-ish. So that's pretty good. However, we did have a couple of catastrophic drops. It dropped briefly into the 60s at one point, and it even dropped into the 30s at another where the FPS indicator turned red. So, it's not quite as stable as DirectX from these initial results. So in terms of frame rate, do we have a winner between Mantle and DirectX? Yes we do, and it's Mantle. So Mantle ranged from 92 to 152, which is 15 frames per second faster than DirectX at its slowest, and 32 frames per second faster at its fastest. I tested them both out on the test server with no screen recording, and they both maxed out at 200 frames per second, and they both run an average of 150. And in that game, without the recording software, you can see an average increase of about 20 frames per second. Sometimes it's only 10, sometimes it's 30. So Mantle is faster by the same proportion, even when the screen capture software isn't running. So that should be a clear and easy victory for Mantle. However, we did have catastrophic drops in FPS at times, down to the 30s, and we also have the issue with it not integrating properly with Windows, it seems. Most people won't have the problem with Fraps that I'm having, but the problem didn't stop when I stopped running Battlefield 4. When I tried restarting Fraps again, it still wouldn't work properly until I restarted my machine. Now that is an issue. I know this is only beta and that may well be resolved, but it doesn't seem to like Windows as well as it should, and it doesn't seem to terminate its processes properly and set DirectX back up as the main API. So for now, it's DirectX that's going to be running my battlefield, so I can record. In the future, when they update Mantle again, I will retest it and give you the results. So that's it for this episode of Battlefield 4 News. I know the clips of gameplay were a bit long, and this probably isn't going to get monetized, but I thought it was worthwhile showing you what the frame rate was over a considerable time. That way you know I wasn't cheating and just picking clips where the frame rate was particularly good or bad on either of the APIs. So I hope you found this interesting, and I hope it helps you make a decision between Mantle and DirectX. Just remember that Mantle is a beta at the moment, and things will get better. Thanks for watching.